Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're doing another feature and this time it is on my friend Josh's Evo 10 GSR. So you may have seen this car on the channel a few times. We've actually done a couple of mods um, in videos for the channel, including we fitted his wheels, uh, we did a few engine bay parts, and it's just generally been in quite a few videos of the cruisers. It's always been a favorite of mine in the group. It's a really tastefully modified late model and just well factory optioned GSR Evo 10. So I thought, let's just get it, let's get a video done on it because I really have wanted to for a while. So that's what we'll be doing today. So we're gonna go over the mods, show you what the car sounds like by getting a few revs and a few flybys. And yeah, we'll do a full mod list on it. So it's not the most highly modified car, but it is just very tastefully modified. So I figured it's one that you guys will enjoy watching as well as I have a few people always say they want to see more of the manual GSRs on the channel, so this is one for you guys. So yeah, with that said, let's get started and we'll start on our exterior mods. All right, so starting at the front of the car, you can see it has the OEM Aero front lip. And this was something I actually filmed a video on fitting on this car. So if you want to see that, there'll be a link in the description. But yeah, it really adds a lot to the front end. Um, and he also has a custom made front splitter to suit the OEM lip. So you can see it actually has been designed for this particular front lip and it flows really well. He also has the red pinstriping, which goes well with the sort of red theme the car has. Uh, also have his custom number plates. We have the red front badge and the GSR badge. Um, I really do like those touches, that looks really nice. Also being the GSR, just a small thing, it usually has a cover here. So not normally open mesh, like on the other side for the fog light. Uh, this is actually off my car, so we did put this onto his car, which it, if I show you the other side, you'll see. So they're both open, normally just this side is open, and that side is blocked off, so it's also added that little feature. Coming around to the side, we have some carbon fibre mirror covers. We have the Verus style carbon fibre side vents, as well as Flow Design's side skirt splitter and some Rally Art mud flaps. And kept the red pinstripe going all the way around the car. Uh, also have the carbon fibre pillar covers. And if we come around to the back of the car, have some more carbon fibre, and this time it is from Rec Speed with these rear gurney flaps, I believe they're called. I uh, also kept the red pinstripe, and we have the Rally Art mud flaps have a carbon fiber cover for the end plates on the wing. We've got the red rear badge also. So not overly modified on the exterior, but Josh's goal for the car was just to, it is a late model, so I'm not sure if I said it is a 2013 MY14 Evo 10 GSR. So it's towards the end of the run. So Josh has got all stock parts at home and he wants to be able to return this car to stock. Doesn't want to do anything that isn't reversible. So yeah, he's kept the car just to his taste and nicely modified. But yeah, not a crazy amount to the exterior, but just enough to make it really look different to the rest and not to look just like a standard Evo. So yeah, it does flow really well together as you can see. But yeah, that is it for the exterior mods. Now we'll move on to the interior. Okay, so as you can see, the car has really nice Recaro half leather seats, um, and they are heated as well. So late model GSRs seemed to get that, whereas the early model just has the cloth. So yeah, seems to be like a really well um, optioned Evo 10, because it also has the Lance Evolution um, sill plates. You have the OEM floor mats, and then we have an aftermarket shift knob. Um, he also has the cubbies and the piano black gear shifter surround, which is usually a late model option. 
uh, or a late model factory option, but yeah, I really like this look as I recently changed that in my car. Um, we have an Evolution by Design fire extinguisher bracket with the fire extinguisher. And just recently, Josh picked up this. It's an OEM um, dash piece. And actually see it has this red pinstriping on it. So it's from like a late model um, Lancer. And yeah, picked this up um, and just has the stock one at home, which looks just like that, like it does on the side. But I think that is a really nice touch. Um, it really flows well with the interior. It's not, it's not too much in your face, but yeah, I think that's a nice little touch. Um, so that's a new one. Also has the AEM X-Series gauges. So it has the AFR wideband and the boost. Um, he has them temporarily mounted on the steering column while he's working out how he's going to mount those permanently. Um, but yeah, it's not an overly modified interior either. Just everything is nicely looked after and yeah, it's just a nice comfy interior to be. So yeah, not again, not a crazy amount of modifications, but just a really nice late model interior. I really do like these leather seats and yeah, the fact that they're heated um, with manual is quite a nice option. But yeah, that's going to be about it for the interior. Okay, so getting onto the wheels, tires and suspension. So the car, as you can see, has a nice set of wheels. These are Workamotion Kiwanis. They are in 18 by nine and a half plus 20 offset all around. So really nice fitment. Uh, very similar to what most people run in Australia seems to be the 18 by nine and a half plus 22. So this is plus 20, so basically the same. Um, then it is running some 265-35 tyres, and they are some Salen R01 tyres, which are very popular here. Um, great tyre for the price. Also has some drilled and slotted rotors, as you can see. And for the suspension, it has MCA Pro Sport coilovers. So it is, as you can it'll probably see there, not too sure, but yeah, nice. Um, New release from MCA Suspension, which is an Australian suspension company. Um, it makes some really great stuff, and a lot of the cars that I've featured run their suspension. So yeah, it's been given a nice little drop. Um, it was on stock suspension for a long time, so the coilovers are pretty new. Um, but yeah, Josh has a bit of a steep driveway, so he couldn't go much lower than this. But yeah, it's at the two finger height at the rear. Um, sits really well, I think. And yeah, he's probably going to add a white line rear sway bar soon from what I've heard but hasn't got around to that yet but the car does handle well and looks great sitting at a nice ride height okay so moving on to the engine mods so you can see it's not overly modified engine bay um, but we do have some really nice touches here so it's actually been videos on the channel of fitting these red parts and actually one of my really early videos was actually painting this OEM strut bar um, but yeah so yeah like I said we have the OEM strut bar it has been painted red it's actually painted by me so uh, that was a fun day uh, then we have some upper intercooler piping and blow valve piping which are both aftermarket and are powder coated in flame red so also a video we did on the channel where I got these powder coated these are actually my old pieces that I sold to Josh and got powder coated for him um, so kind of he just wanted again OEM and easily reversible back to completely stock so yeah not too overly modified so he's kept the plastic engine cover and yeah he wanted the red to all sort of flow so um, yeah it hasn't got crazy modifications in the engine bay um, no titanium everywhere like mine but just nice and custom looking. Okay, so for exhaust, the car has an X-Force turbo back stainless steel system, which is a dual exit at the back. Um, and also has yet yeah, the high flow cat, uh, the downpipe and the cat back system. So all made up together with for a full turbo back exhaust system. Um, it has a turbo smart blower valve, which actually I'm sure you guys will, will have heard in the intro, sounds very loud. Um, it sounds great. It's a really nice sounding exhaust system. It's not overly loud, um, but it just makes a nice tone to it. Um, we just have the stock airbox with a high flow panel filter. Um, and yeah, stock 
intake and everything just with the aftermarket blow off valve piping, intercooler piping. Um, it has been tuned and it was actually tuned in Sydney by a previous owner. Josh is looking to get it retuned by AK Racing in the future. That does make good power just for a conservative tune. So it's only tuned to, I think it's 22 pounds of boost, but it makes 210 kilowatts at the wheels. So that's actually pretty good for the low boost. Um, so he's going to get it retuned by AK Racing soon and yeah, should be going up to the 24 pounds of boost level. So we'll probably make an extra five or 10 kilowatts. Um, but yeah, maybe Josh will decide to go with an intake or something. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But so that is basically it for the modifications on the car. So yeah, like I said, probably a couple of times, it's not overly modified. It doesn't have a massive list like some of the other cars I've featured, but is just a really nice, well-maintained and tidily modified example, if that's even a word. Uh, yeah, so that's gonna be it for the interior, exterior and engine modifications. Now what I wanna do is I wanna get Josh to start the car up, give it a few revs so you guys can hear what it sounds like. And we'll get a few flybys as well. So that's going to be the end of the video there. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, it's definitely one I've been wanting to film for a while because like I said, this is one of my favorite sort of looking Evo 10s. I know it's not crazy modified, but it's just really got some nice subtle touches to it. So I'll throw Josh's Instagram up on the screen now. Um, definitely make sure you go give him a follow. And yeah, thanks heaps for watching guys. Um, hope you did enjoy it. If you did, definitely make sure you give the video a thumbs up down below. And yeah, let me know what did you think of this car? Um, let me know in the comments and if you haven't already subscribed definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel because there'll be plenty more videos like this and many other Evo 10 and Rally Art related videos coming so keep an eye out for those but until next time I'll catch you guys later